well. Hello, crappy ladies. How y'all doing? As you can see here, I got a little bit of card candy for you. I've been busy. <laughs> um, yeah, just some cards I've been making. Um, I get my inspiration from a lot of different ladies, but a lot lately has been the um, Sam Calcott of UK, posh paper lady at always. May May, scrapping book, scrapbooking with me. I mean, just all kinds of inspiration. You don't have to just punch in cards and you'll get tons of inspiration. But, yeah, we'll start right here. This is my easel card. Um, yeah, I just wrote, have a nice day because it's just, all these are samples. None of these will go anywhere. They're just samples, the ones I made. But anyway, just a th uh, three easel cards. And they fold up like this, and like that, and then down like that. And they go like that. And you can write your sentiment on the back if you wanted to, or wherever. But yeah, it lays down nice. But yeah, you know, I'm kind of one-handed, so I'm trying to do things all one-handed here. It sets up pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, there's that one. And then there's this one back here. I put some windows on, kind of that window paper or mirror paper on it. And, um, yeah, just put your sentiment right here in the middle. And it's got all those cutouts all the way down. All the cutouts. And it just stands like this, and they're kind of boxy when they're standing there. And then it um, falls down like this. And some of these, depending on the size you make, you might have to make your own envelope. Or some of them just fit standard envelopes. There's, oh, on the back I did put lines for your sentiment. And there's the back. You kind of see how it was cut out. Yeah. Anyway, there's the second one. And there's the third one, just a diamond, just a diamond fold. It does stand up by itself, but um, it's just a diamond fold like that. It comes up like that. Kind of cute. And you can put your sentiment on the back. And then next we have this one. It's really cool. When you open it, it kind of looks like a box. You could actually put some flowers in this if you wanted to, a little glass of flowers. You could put that in there, but you put your sentiment up here or in the front. You can put your sentiment anywhere you want to. Anywhere you want to. But yeah, I thought this one was kind of cool. I made two of them, actually. Here's another one. I backed that one with a little bit of that gold mirror paper. But, you know, I thought they were kind of cute. And um, you just fold them flat. Very, very good. Um, just fit in the envelope. I think they might even fit in a standard envelope. But yeah, they fold up rather nicely. And then we have this one. Now this one should have set up like this like this, but I think my flowers put it over the edge. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it sits up like that. I put these little, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it looks good like that, too, though, actually. But it can, if I had the flowers the other way, it can stand up like this, too. Kind of a, a good presentation, that one. But, um, yeah. That was pretty cool, and it just folds it down like that. That's it. it folds it down like that. You put your your sentiment on the back, and that's an easy one. Very easy one to do. Yeah. Anyway, and then we have the box here. Boxes. Um, you put a bow right here. It would go through the back right here. You make your holes. And you put your bow, I didn't do the bow because I'm one-handed here, so you just pull it out. Sorry. And it opens 
these up into four boxes. And you can put four little gifts in there. And it kind of stair steps when you're holding it up like this. It kind of stair steps itself. But yeah, there's little, all the little handles I made. Little finger handles you put in the box. And they just, they hold quite a bit actually. But you can put little gifts in there and make it fun for them to open all their little gifts. And this one is right there. You get the, the point though. But yeah, I thought this one was cute too. Be cute for a kid or something fun or adult even. I wouldn't mind getting it and loving four gifts at once. But um, a little bit of a time here. There we go. Anyway, I thought that was a really nice one. Even to send your your little uh, crafting peeps some stuff in it. But here's like the, the best one. <laughs> and that is my circus tent. Yep, I love it. Here's the front. Come on, focus. Anyway, oh. Come on. Why won't it focus? Anyway, it's just a, actually, it's just faded out anyway. And it, comes it up to the tent here and I put one of them on my tent too. I put a little horsey on my tent also. Usually they have a flag, but I did what this one did. Sam El Sam Kelcott of UK. I copied this from her, but I didn't copy her. I put totally different stuff on mine. I just copied her build the the way you build it. And then I I always do that. I copy the way they build it and then I just take it from there and do my own decorating. So it's my own thing. Anyway, I uh, put the lid on wrong. That is supposed to come up here. Anyway. And well, I'm just going to show you the whole box. And you turn around here. Keeps going around and around. My balloon dog. I love balloon dogs. And then... This one, yeah, that's the front of my lid. This is the front of my lid. I don't know why I messed it up. And here's the front. But yeah, it's it's pretty good size actually. And then the lid comes off. If I can get it off, I my lap here. There. There's the inside. Pretty big. Pretty big in there. I finished it in yellow. I don't remember how she finished it. But, yeah, I liked it. Bottom. And like I said, this is supposed to be the front right there. hard to do with one hand but it goes it does go on there really nice there it's on yeah almost there. okay that's the front uh, the front of the lid was supposed to be there anyway this is my first one and Tonya it wasn't that easy it took some time it took me about I don't know three or four hours to do this But it was fun, and I'm going to actually use it probably to give somebody for a gift. Somebody in my family, a grandkid or somebody is going to get it. And then the next one I make is going to be even better. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, this is it. It's fun. And this paper is um, from everywhere. This is the Maggie Holmes um carousel collection and then I've got ephemera from different collections so 
Yeah, so that's all my makes. I enjoyed that. And I've got a order from Amazon I really want to show you. Um, especially you um, junk journal makers. I've never made a junk journal, but I'm thinking about it. And I ordered some stuff. So as soon as I got some of it yesterday, and as soon as the rest of it comes in, I will show you. So, okay, ladies, you have a great day, and I will see you later.